Hi guys, today I'm going to be telling you what the best troop combination to use at every single HQ is. Let's hop into it. But before we do that, make sure you guys are using code COSMIC in the shop to help support us. And also, Jimmy and I are going to be doing a Discord competition against you guys. So it's Jimmy and me versus all of you. More details to come on our Discord server. Go join our Discord server if you... Uh, like warships or even if you don't like warships and just want cool stuff plus giveaways it's gonna be a lot of fun and maybe if you guys can beat jimmy and i uh something exciting will happen so go join our discord server if you want to be a part of that but today we are gonna be talking and showing the best troop combinations at every single hq so let's start out with hq1 HQ1, you start out the game with Riflemen. You have to use Riflemen if you want to progress, so HQ1 is Riflemen. And then you hit HQ2 and you unlock Heavies. Now, Heavies are super good, but as soon as you unlock them, you might only be able to hold one or two in each boat, and I just don't think that's worth it. So I would say keep using Riflemen until you get two or three Heavies in a boat, and then I would say switch to Heavies, because Heavies I feel like are just a little bit stronger than Riflemen, but honestly, they're very comparable. You can use any from HQ1 to HQ4, but HQ5, you unlock Zookas. Oh, I should also mention that these are the troops you should be upgrading as well. You know, I could sit up here and tell you guys to use this troop combination, but you really should only be upgrading a certain number of troops so you can spend your gold on other stuff like uh, hero upgrades or submarine dives to try to get some classified items. There's a lot of stuff you can be spending gold on, radar, expanding your archipelago. Um, that would be better than upgrading a troop you're not using. So you can look at this guide and look in the future. It's not just for your current HQ level. You can look in the future and say, okay, I'm never going to be using Cryoneers. Why am I upgrading Cryoneers? So, like I said, HQ5, you unlock Zookas. The meta changes. Zookas bring you the damage you need. So you can use Riflemen or you can use Heavies. I would do whichever troop you've been using up to that point. Now, I said Heavies under my book, so you're going to be using Hookah. Um, if you've been using Riflemen up to HQ5, use Ruka, which is Riflemen and Zookas. So you're going to keep using that combination from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then at HQ11, you're going to unlock tanks. I think tanks are better than um, Hookah or Ruka, in my opinion. And a lot of people would agree with me. Tanks are just super overpowered, but here's the deal is... I wouldn't use tanks until you can get two tanks in each boat, okay? If you can get two tanks in each boat, it doesn't take that much, then you can start using tanks. I know when I unlocked tanks on my account, I didn't have the ability to hold two in each boat, and it really hurts because it's literally half the tanks um, than you would if you can get two in each boat. So I would say probably stick with hookah until you can get two tanks in each boat, but HQ11, you should be trying to make the move over the tanks and then HQ 12 you have tanks also in HQ 13 you also use tanks now I forgot to mention and I kind of blew over HQ 8 and at the time I said use hookah but that's actually when you unlock warriors but I want to make this clear warriors are not good until you unlock smoke at uh, HQ 14 okay warriors just are trash don't use warriors until you unlock smoke but that's one troop you should be upgrading because you're gonna want to switch to warriors as soon as you hit HQ14. You need to be going all in with Smoky Warriors. It's by far the best troop combination. You'll have tanks that are decently leveled at that point because you should be using tanks and you'll be upgrading your warriors so you'll have a decently leveled warrior. So here's the deal. That's what I did on my low level starting over account. I think I've maxed out tanks for HQ 16, I think, or HQ 17 or something. I have maxed out tanks, which is nice, and I also, I think now have maxed out warriors. So I'm kind of keeping my tanks and warriors upgraded. There are definitely some bases that it's a lot easier to take out the base using tanks rather than warriors. And you'll see that start to happen as you get up higher. There's certain bases where the best troop combination I'm telling you just isn't the best troop combination to take down that base. The best troop combination overall is different from like base to base. 
because if a base has a shield generator, you're not gonna wanna use warriors. It's just not gonna be helpful. I said use tanks from HQ 11 to 13, but in reality, for the rest of your Boom Beach career, after you unlock tanks, keep them somewhat upgraded because tanks are pretty good and you're gonna be using a lot of tanks. Okay, but at HQ 14, you finally unlock Smoke. That means you can switch to Smoky Warriors, or you can also switch to AZ. A lot of players have done that. Here's the deal, Zookas are more powerful than Warriors. There are bases you can take out with AZ that you just cannot take out with Warriors, but AZ is a pain to learn. Warriors is a good stepping stone, learning how to smoke your troops. So from HQ 14 to 20, you're gonna be using Smoky Warriors as your main combination. It's so good, you can defeat players literally 15 to 25 levels higher than you. I've done this on my low level starting over account and I have a series where I do that. I'll put a link down below if you guys wanna check out that playlist. So, HQ 15, you unlock medics. Don't upgrade your medics. I don't like team ed. I know a lot of people like team ed, tanks and medics. I just don't like it. I think just bring all tanks if you're gonna go with tanks. At HQ 16, you unlock grenadiers. Grenadiers are good and you can defeat certain bases using grenadiers. I just don't think it's worth upgrading. So I would say don't upgrade grenadiers. HQ 18, you unlock scorchers. In my opinion, scorchers are kind of trash until you can have two in each boat. So I would probably say don't even upgrade scorchers. That's a late game meta. That's literally HQ 24. So don't worry about upgrading your scorchers either. HQ 20, you unlock cryoneers. Now I'm still saying use warriors at HQ 20, but when you unlock Crowneers, that allows you to use one of the best combinations in the game, which is RZCM. Riflemen, Crowneers, Zookas, Medics. It's a, a crazy strong combination. A ton of the top players use it. But in my opinion, for the general use player, Smoky Warriors are still going to be better than that. But HQ21, you unlock Bombardiers. And you guys already know, switch to Bombardiers. Now, I still use Warriors as my main troop combination on my max out account, but when I push, there's a certain point where Warriors, Smoky Warriors, just won't do the job. Literally every player will have shield generators. You have to switch to heavies and bombardiers if you want to defeat bases. So max out your bombardiers as fast as possible. It will help you so much. Bombardiers and heavies is such a strong combination, both on your main base and for warships. I should also mention, all this stuff I'm mentioning is for your main base. Warships is a different strategy um, because of the tech tree, so it's not really the same, but uh, for your main base, get Bombardiers upgraded as fast as possible. Typically, that's the Warships meta also though. And then HQ-22, you're in like the last troop in the game as of now, which is the mechs. Mechs are trash, <laughs> they're so bad, don't use mechs. Um, a time when you could use mechs is if you can put two in each boat, but it's honestly not that strong of a combination. They're kind of a trashy troop. They need some balancing. And then, yeah, so from HQ 21 to 24, rest of your journey, use heavies, bombardiers, use warriors when you need to, and that is the overall troop meta. So, in this video, I basically told you from HQ 1 to 2, use all riflemen. From HQ 3 to 4, use all heavies. From HQ 5 to 10, use hookah, which is heavies and zookas. From HQ 11 to 13, use tanks. From HQ 14 to 20, use smoky warriors. And from HQ 21 to 24, use heavies and bombardiers. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me talking about all the different troop combinations and the best troop combination for each and every HQ level. If you liked it, please drop a like. This video was a lot of fun to put together and kind of do some research into all these different troops and see when they actually get unlocked because in my head, I kind of have a general idea, but seeing it on a spreadsheet makes it a lot easier to grasp. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Make sure you guys are using code COSMIC in the shop if you liked this video and want to support our work. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.